Oh. So, let's do a recap of my morning. I forget my belt for my jeans. I, I got a haircut, not that it matters. Um, my jumper wasn't in my bag. Today's video, we are gonna go and hopefully meet Jay-Z. Two, two J kicks on YouTube. It's gonna be at, what's, what do you even call it? Um, kicks STW. Doing a little meet and greet before sneaker con on Saturday. Which, for all that's wondering, I will be there. Hope to see many of you guys there. I will be wandering around, looking for shoes, meeting more YouTubers. Um, what else? Let's go and get some more proper clothing. You feel me? Yeah, okay. I'll see you guys in a second. So now we're gonna go find Kmart. New sneaker boy. Have to go and give them. Go and give them. Go and check them out after. It's just so goddamn cold in here. I need some clothes. Shout out to Fraser. He'll understand. Craziest man alive. Memes 2010 shorts. But this building is so quiet, which is good. So, um, with with SneakerCon on Saturday, I will be there really early beforehand, lining up to get in. You know, casual, casual. Um, I hope you guys come first of all. That'd be awesome to see. As many people as possible down at SneakerCon. I know a couple other YouTubers. I said um, 2J Kicks, JC, and his wife Joni will be there. Kickspore, he'll be there. Kais Omar, Crew TV, Crew TV, yeah, Dream Crew 07, yeah, they'll be there. It'll be a good experience to have a SneakerCon in Australia. And yeah, the Tulsa's is behind us. Um, check back with in you guys when we find a hoodie. We got my hoodie, nice and warm. So go and check out Sneaker Boy now, and we'll go off from there. For the second half of the day is a lot. That sneaker boy. 
it was amazing. Yeah, I'll get one with you as well. Yeah, sorry, bro. Yeah, it's all good, man. Oh, I thought you had And it's your boy, Jay. Two J's Kicks here, chilling with my man, uh, Ben YG. Make sure to subscribe to his channel, share, like, comment. Um, what do you think of this store? Oh, it's one of my favorites in Melbourne. Um, in my opinion, it's got cheaper prices compared to everywhere else at the moment. And it's also one of the lowest consignment fees. Yeah, I, I noticed they have 10% consignment rate and they, they got a great selection, man. Yeah, they got so. a great cons selection. And then Kicks SDW, they've got, I think, oh no, Triple S, they've got up to 20% in consignment rate at the moment. Gotcha. Yeah, cool, but man. they're pretty cool as well, so. So, uh, who are you most excited about seeing at SneakerCon this weekend? Because I know a couple other YouTubers are going to be there. Oh, Kais. Yeah, Kais is a good guy. He should be, he's, I know he's coming in a few days. Yeah, he's, I think he's in Sydney or something at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to meeting him. Dope. Going to have an early day. Dope. Yeah, he's got cool merch, too. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, no worries. Appreciate the support. Thank you. This is like 5,000 US, you know, um, and then the book bag is like 12,000 US, like resell, so, you know, retail is like one fourth, of, one, third, one third of it, so, you know, it's, it could get, you know, as you start, it's like anything else, when you, when you collect, you just constantly keep leveling and you have to, you, you don't know what you're getting, oh, yeah. because you don't want to, no, you money. can buy, you, not gonna make money, yeah, yeah. Do you think a lot of, it's obviously you have quite young kids come in, even though they're teenage years, do you think a lot of parents don't sort of understand it so well, people are paying X amount of money? You know, when we first started, I want to say it seemed like every other parent was like, I don't know why my kids are in here, <laughs> but you know, now, uh, now that it's a little bit more mainstream, we're not having that conversation as much, like the parents get it, they're just like, you know, like, I can't tell you how many times a parent will come in and say, yeah, my kid's 12 years old and he bought a pair of Yeezys that he got at retail for 200 bucks and he turned it for $600 and they're like, I can't believe that someone will pay. And then they did it again and then yeah. again and now, you know, you have these kids that are coming in and like, the parents are all for it. Like, the parents will be like, how much money can you make on that? How much can you make on this? Well, can you trade it for that? Or, so it's like. And it's not just the money aspect of it, but I think it's um, ignorance to our understanding and accepting of the culture. I think it's the fact that they're learning a lot of social skills, how to deal with people. I was just talking to the thing before about um, on one side, it's a good thing to have, uh, you know, teaching to to appreciate what they really want. You have to work for it. But on the other side, also to have the fact that um, their parents are the one who's also doing a lot, of, you know, work behind. Get the money, it's right. just, even though a lot of time they don't say it, but it's hard, you know. For them. Yeah. When you're talking about shoes, it's like three or four hundred. I remember when we grew up, you know, we're getting 40, like, 50 bucks. 40, yeah. 50 bucks, it's expensive already, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, now it's like 200 over last two years, so it's going crazy. It's about finding creative ways to get yeah. what you want. And to get what you want is a lot easier than you think. You just have to find creative ways to do it. Yeah. Um, doing similar things as well. the hard, it's, yeah, it's no different. It's, I mean, it's different, but it's it really is not, you know. And that's what I think. Um, that's what's really helped us grow the way that we have is because we're just like, you know what? Like we have to get this done. We have to find a way. I have to have that. We have to. We have to get to this level or half. And and it's it's a lot easier when you build relationships with people and take care of others that are willing to make a dollar with you. 
you know, like if it was just me, 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 it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. Um, have you been to all the, all the, all the, all the, all the, I mean, last week they had a sneaker store. Here. Sneaker boy? I have, I have, this is literally the first store. We got here yes, yesterday? We got here midday yesterday, and uh, they, uh, we, we got a hotel room, and they upgraded us into this, like, giant villa. And my wife and I were like, we were like you know what? I don't want to leave because they kept they kept bringing us food. They kept checking in every couple of minutes. Kind of, kind of, kind of know us, I guess. And um, they are, uh, but no, you could like they kept bringing us food. The the place is almost as big as my apartment. You know, like, and um, it just was. Look, my wife and I and my business partner, we probably work over a hundred hours a week. Yeah. And when we go to these events, it's like, go to this store, that store, this store, this store. And it's just been nonstop. We were in Hong Kong for six days and we probably went to like 30 plus stores, plus had meeting after meeting after meeting, you know, flying from, and then to get from Hong Kong to, uh, I mean, sorry, to get from Vegas to Hong Kong was a bit of an effort. So we're still kind of jet lagged because we had a drive from Vegas to LA, and normally what takes four hours, we somehow managed to do in six and a half, right? <laughs> and then we had to, and then uh, we had a drive, we, well, we drove, we ran to the gate, barely made it on time, yeah. and then only to have to run, when we landed in San Francisco, 40 gates to watch the plane take off, and then there was the like yeah, another, we when we missed that yeah. flight, we had a uh, almost 12 hour layover, and then we had to go to Taipei, and there was a three-hour layover there, and then... And then get to Hong Kong, where it was all supposed to be direct, but it's... Yeah. I don't think it's so fun, though. I mean, you could it's fun, travel. but it's like, yeah. you know, uh, I'm very consumed by soaking it all in, so yeah. there's... When you're consumed the way I am, I can't really sleep. So, uh, like, I was up for all of that, you know? And so when we got here, I just... Oh, uh, yeah, I drink maybe like one or two of these a day. It's the only way I can stay up, you know. But uh, it's fun. I'm very thankful that we have so much on our plate because... You plan to travel? Yeah, we want to... So it was really chill meeting you, Jay. Um, thanks to Kix STW for organizing this meetup with him. It was brilliant. Even though the day started off like a zero, it ended with a hundred. Now the, I don't know, maybe go home, go to TAFE, something. See, my parcels arrived and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.